The formula we derived for the Laplace transform of a step function is mainly used to find inverse Laplace transforms. This works as follows. Suppose our capital G of S has the following form. Capital G of S equals e to the power minus cs times capital F of S. If we can then find our small f of t, then we can also find our small g of t using our theorem. In this video, we'll see a few examples how this is done. Because how do we find our g of t? Well, if capital G of S equals capital F of S times e to the power minus cs, then uh, how do we find our g of t? We need our small f, small f of t minus c, and we multiply by our step function. So how does this work in practice? So suppose we have the following example. Capital G of S equals 2 times e to the power minus t s divided by s cubed. Find G of t. Well, we have c equals 2. Capital F equals 2 over s cubed. Uh, because then we are uh, exactly of this form with uh, c equals 2 and capital F of s equals 2 over s cubed. Then we can transform back and find our f of t. It is in our table. We have done it analytically before. f of t equals t squared. Then we can use our theorem to find g of t. g of t equals uc times f of t minus c. c equals 2, f equals t squared. So we get u2 of t, f of t minus 2. So we get a u2 of t, and we put the t minus 2 of the spot of t over here. So we get a t minus 2 squared. So there we are. Now let's do one more example. So we have an h of s equals this function over here. Not an exponential in front of it, so we have to come up with some tricks. So h of t is the inverse Laplace transform of capital H of s. Uh, now, inverse Laplace transform is linear, so this is the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s cubed minus the inverse Laplace transform of 2 times e to the power minus 2s over s cubed. Now, we already found this inverse Laplace transform in example 1, and this inverse Laplace transform can be found directly using our table. So our uh, uh, h of t becomes the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s cubed, which is 1 half t squared, uh, minus the inverse Laplace transform of this thing, which we found over here, u2 of t times t minus 2 squared, which comes over here. So there we have our h of 2.